Okay, so I've played 7 Days to Die since Alpha 19 and each time I do at least one playthrough on Knaves Gain. So I've gotten to know the map quite well. There's this one bridge in the desert that spans a deep canyon and it's broken. Now I've tried jumping it like the Dukes of Hazard, but it didn't turn out too well. Because it's a canyon, you can't bypass the bridge by just driving through the river, so you need to take a significant detour around the canyon, which is annoying. Anyways, it always irks me and I always think about how easy it would be to quickly fix it and then I would be able to use it. Let's ignore the fact that once you get the gyrocopter, it makes all bridges irrelevant. Well, I have fixed it once before, but it was pretty janky. And it wasn't as quick and as easy as I thought, and it left me with many broken legs and deaths. This time, I decided to fix it correctly and make it look like all the other bridges. First up though, let's have a look at a known good bridge so I can get some screenshots, make some notes and copy the shapes that are used to construct it. As I was checking over the shapes that construct the bridge, I figured out this weird game mechanic. You can't copy the default block shape. I mean, most of the times it's pretty obvious it's a block, but sometimes you can't see the other side of the shape, so copying it confirms what it is. Anyway, getting off topic here. The great thing is that this bridge is constructed of only two shapes, the block and the 45 degree ramp in different rotated positions. Now, there are some other ramp shapes used for the lead up to the bridge, but these are already in place in the other location. The other shape used is the railings, but they are made up with the metal fences and railings, so I'll tackle them later on. So I took some screenshots here and made note of the spacing of the blocks and I'm ready to start work on repairing the bridge. First up though, I need to get rid of the car wrecks on the bridge. They're going to get in the way. Then, this piece of railing needs to go because it's not the right piece I need here. And all this trash needs to go as well. It's going to spoil the finish of my bridge when it's done. I also need to get rid of any incorrect shapes that are currently giving the effect of a destroyed bridge. After that's completed, let's start building out the blocks towards the other side. Now, you need to be very careful here when stepping out. If you go too far, then you'll fall off and um, uh, maybe end up with a broken leg. Dope. Luckily I brought the gyrocopter with me, so I'll be able to get quickly back up and at it again. Now's a good time to grab a paintbrush and take a copy of the patterns being used so I can paint them all later. At this point I realised that the block integrity on this side of the bridge has been reached. I wasn't sure if it was because the original structure was wood, so I just kept on upgrading it all to concrete and I'll see what happens a bit later. Let's not forget to say hi to our visitors passing by. I thought I would give the flaming arrows a try, but them, along with the compound bow, make it hard to see what you're actually shooting at.
So, after a few more broken legs, I'm on the other side of the bridge and I've hit the block integrity limit here as well. I was suspecting this would happen, as when I've looked at the other bridges in the map, the rivers are much narrower than the canyon. This isn't a major hassle, as all I'll need to do is add support towers in the middle, which will result in an even more epic looking bridge. The metal fences and railings is where I get these road barrier shapes from. They need to be made in the forge. Now it's time to safely make my way down to the canyon floor and start building my tower support legs. It's convenient that I had to nerd pile my way back up earlier as this serves as a reference point that helps you work out where the centre of the bridge is. After a quick nerd poll, I was able to check my calculated position before committing to the location of the centre support tower.
At this point, I can take this old nerd pole down as I no longer have a use for it and I can use those blocks for building the next tower. It's a good stage of the build where I should paint some of the framework. It'll save time later. It's lucky I made a heap of paint in preparation for this.
And after all that work, here's the finished bridge. It looks just like a ball one. I really like how it looks from this angle. I thought these tower supports wouldn't look that great, but they actually work really well here. I even gave it a test drive and it feels just like driving over a bridge. Funny that, hey? Well, that's about it for this video. Let me know what you think and how you would have done it yourself. Until next time, bye.